hello and welcome back to another episode of Juan is Cooking. Today I'll be making flavor butter. Um, I decided to make flavor butter years and years ago because it makes your life easier. When I had the food truck, it was easier for us to make some dishes because as you know, our food truck had, it was the smallest food truck with the biggest menu. We had Asians, Italians, uh, Mexican dishes, ribs, Hamburger sandwiches, soups, desserts, everything was homemade. Anyway, so um, our base is going to be butter for all of them. So I'm going to whip the butter. And once I whipped all the butter, it's almost going to double in size. And then I'm going to divide it in three. And then each portion, I'm going to add the flavors. So for the first one, I'm going to make a Mexican butter. Mm, the main ingredient is going to be cilantro, of course. And it's going to have our taco seasoning which is packed with chili powder, sea salt, ground cream, cumin, black pepper, paprika, garlic, onion, crushed peppers, oregano. And then, and also I have salt and pepper, just add a little more. Um, remember, you want to make it packed with flavor, so when you cook, you don't have to use too much. So, the second one I have is the Asian butter. Uh, I have fresh ginger. You can use powder ginger, um, that's fine too, but hey, why not use fresh ginger? So the same, we have to peel this, grind this ginger really fine, and then once it's ready, we put it in there, and I'm gonna add some uh, parsley, just a little bit for color, you know, and half of it at least, the other half I'm gonna make it with um, our Italian butter. Our Italian butter, it's gonna have basil, it's gonna have parsley, it's gonna have rosemary. I only have this piece of rosemary, but that's enough. And we're also gonna use our shark seasoning for the Italian one. Our shark seasoning, like I say uh, in our videos, is packed with sea salt, black pepper, garlic, onion, parsley, oregano, thyme, rosemary, basil, dill, paprika, red peppers, and yellow mustard. Um, you can actually, if you don't have this, you can actually add flavors to it, uh, seasoning, spices. So if you don't have the taco seasoning, then you will add more pepper, more black uh, salt, more cumin, oregano, uh, chili powder, you know. But hey, we make it easy for you. <laughs> That's it. Um, okay, so let's get cooking. So my first step is, of course, we're going to have to... Um, with all this butter. So meanwhile, I'm gonna tell you about our food truck. Our food truck, we opened it during COVID. I have a window cleaning company, and as you know, COVID put a stop on everything, on everybody. Everybody around the planet. So I was at home and I was getting tired of like doing nothing. And of course, what else can you do besides drink wine and watch TV uh, eat so when it comes to eating it was always the fight of what are we eating today well all oh, the restaurants were also closed and they were open like very limited so all these food trucks started popping all over so we used to go to food trucks and I like everything but my family sometimes are like, oh, I don't want hamburgers today. Let's eat pizza. Oh, let's eat tacos. So one day I told my wife, hey, I think it would be great if there was a food truck out there that it would serve you more than, you know, the wing, the wings, food truck, the pizza one, the taco one. And she just told me, hey, why don't you, why don't you open one? So that's why we made me... Uh, decide to open a food truck um, then trying to pick the menu it was hard because it was a big 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 menu um, but the way we made it it was uh, fun I mean we used to park at this brewery Rails in, in, in Brookfield Colorado and it didn't matter how many people were sitting on a table family of four family of six family of ten a group of 20, I can guarantee that everybody in that group will eat something different. 
and everybody. So it was amazing. It was a 12 by 6 food truck, and uh, it was very small, but we had everything. I used to make everything from scratch with the hamburgers, with our eight ounce uh, beef, um, with homemade buns. I used to make them every day, homemade buns, and that made the difference. People were like, oh my God, these are so good. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, everything tastes different when it's fresh, you know? Um, because when I started the hamburgers, I was like, oh, my hamburgers are big. And it's hard to find a bun that it can hold that size of hamburger. So I was like, you know what, let's make it. So it was homemade. We had soups, desserts, homemade. We have a, a lava cake. When you cut it in the middle, all the chocolate would melt. And it had bananas, strawberries. It was like a fondue on your plate, a chocolate fondue. Um, okay, so I'm gonna whip this on this mixer here. Can you still see me? Oh yeah. Okay, we're back. <laughs> I'm sorry about the last part. It was so loud, so noisy. The water whipping. It's very noisy. So, hope you understand. Uh, if you don't have a mixer at home, I don't think you can do this. I mean, I mean, you could probably put it in a blender, I guess, but I don't know. So, anyway. So, okay. So, we uh, I pulled the honey because I was going to make uh, like a honey butter. Then I was thinking, like, we don't use honey butter that much. So I'm going to stick to my uh, original three flavors. So, okay. The butter is whipped. It's almost double in size. The more I whip it, the, it's going to get bigger, uh, fluffier. Why? Because the cream butter, as you know, is made out of cream and the milk from the, the, the cream from the milk. Um, one thing that I learned over the years, like I, when, when in the restaurant business, when you cook, you use a lot of heavy cream. And sometimes you run out of heavy cream. So what do you do? Well, technically, butter and milk, if you whip it together, it turns out to be a heavy cream. So I did that a lot too. Just work, more work. Okay. Anyway, so I put gloves because I want to make sure I remove all these butter, okay? So now we're going to divide our butter in three. So one for you. I like for papers because it's easier to clean. Well, I don't have to clean that side, you know? But I guess I don't need three because I, I can keep the rest in here. But you know what? Yeah. Let's do it so it's easier. So. I can just go back. So that's how, like if you're making just one flavor, you just dump all the ingredients in the bowl. Um, when when this was whipping, I got the, in the past video, you saw me running all over, uh, like flushed. So what I did, I, I, I blended all the ingredients for the Mexican, for the Asian, and the, uh, and the Italian. You spread everything. So if you put all the leaves in the water in the blender, it, it won't make it won't blend. You need to add you need to add some type of liquid. But you don't wanna put too much. You don't wanna make like a soup. You wanna keep it more like thick, right? So so I added water, but you can add I don't know, in the Mexican one you can maybe add some type of juice, tomato juice, hey, why not? A little bit of tomato juice instead of water, bam. 
Um, the, for the ginger one, for the Asian, maybe water, uh, orange juice. Ooh, orange juice, man. Didn't think about that earlier. Okay. So I have enough butter in here. That's why you want to wear a glove. Gloves and this. Okay. So. Stay it up. What do we do next? All right, so now that we have our ingredients here, uh, I don't know if you can see, I have the cilantro. This is the cilantro. This is the ginger. Ginger is very, very strong. So I'm gonna show you something that you can do. Ginger, it's very strong. We probably need half of that least maybe even less but anyway so what I you do is you wanna oh and also ginger um, they sell I also have this that I realized I had it before I already have ginger paste it's pretty much the same but don't you think it's better when it's fresh you know I don't know ingredients Ginger root, ingredients, ginger, dextrose, glycerin, fructose, sea salt, ascorbic acid to protect color and flavor. Oh no, thank you. Santron gum and citric acid. Well, the citric acid is the lemon juice that I put in there. The same, but the rest, ah. So you know what, it's up to you if you wanna buy everything ready. Like the paste, they sell cilantro in paste, but hey, make it fresh. Okay, so what I'm doing here is, you wanna save some ginger and freeze it. You can put a name on it so you know what it is, uh, and then take all the air out. And what can you do with this? Well, maybe one day you wanna make um, Soy sauce, I mean not soy sauce, sorry, teriyaki sauce, so you, you know, oh, and the best part is, once you keep it in this bag, you take all the air out, when you freeze it, it's going to be hard, it's going to be hard, so then when you need it, you open the bag and you can break a piece, right, very smart, all right, so we have our ginger, and we're going to freeze, I can guarantee, man, if you make some, um, Asian dishes, stew fries and all that, you can add the butter or for the sauces, um, like for the food truck, uh, we used to make our own sauces. I used to make my teriyaki sauce, the sweet and sour, um, the, I mean not the sweet and sour, but the sweet Thai, it was homemade, everything was homemade. So, you know what, this one needs a little more. So. Like I said, I'm gonna save probably half and the other half. And the other half in Ziploc bags that I will freeze and I can break pieces when I need it. So, what's next? Okay, so you know what? Let's just start with the Asian. So we're gonna add our ginger. When I blended all this, I don't know if you noticed ginger, I actually gave it extra time. It was like a minute and a half. You wanna make sure, because ginger is a root and it has a lot of fibers. So you wanna let it blend and blend and blend and blend until you don't see any fibers. And at the end, few of the fibers were stuck into the blade from the blender. So that's all. If you blend it for 10, 20 seconds, you will have more of those fibers. You don't want that. Okay. So we have our ginger in here. Now we take our butter. Beautiful.
if I had a season in like this that I was going to make an, an, an Asian one, um, I never made it, but hey, it's never too late. I will just add it, but I don't have it. So what else are we going to add to this? Salt. I'll say that's like one tablespoon. Um, you want to add this to taste. Uh, so um, like this um, butter, I think it was unsalted, so you want to add more salt. Anyway, when you cook, you want to use, you know, a fair amount of butter. You know, you don't want to put half of this. No, this is enough for a lot of recipes. What else? We have here pepper. Oh, and you know what we need? Uh, we put ginger. What's also a curry? Let's put a curry. It's more like... Anyway, so anyway, I think this is good. This is good. Um, this will give it flavor. And I told you earlier I was going to put some parsley, but then it would make it green, and then I get confused, you know. So uh, in this case, it will turn into like a yellowy, pasty, thingy. So, so that's it. So now what I do is, but before, I use this one to whip all the butter. Now that it's really creamy, I wanna use this attachment. to know because it's ready. Uh, you can add whatever you want. Um, this is an Asian, so if you want, you can add sesame seeds, sesame oil. I mean, um, ah, you know what? Just add some soy sauce. Add soy sauce. can probably see a few of, of the fibers. That's good. That's why you want to use this attachment because it will remove one. Uh, but that's fine. When you're cooking, you're going to have to use it. So you rinse it. There's no need to wash it with salt and water. You just want to rinse it. For the next bar. Alright. Now, take a spatula. It's very strong. So now we're gonna put it in containers that you can actually freeze. And when you need butter, you don't wanna keep this outside in your fridge for, unless you use it all the time. You just wanna freeze it. When you wanna cook something, you just shove a fork or a spoon and you get the amount that you want. So this will last you forever. Well, you know what I mean. So in that case, I'm gonna see if I can Save it all in one container instead of two. I think I'll be able to do that.
Maybe not, but that's fine. Because then we can put it in a Ziploc bag. I don't want to use an old container for a little bit, so. So that's why if you don't use that much, you can use less butter. Um, I like to make these ahead of time so it's there, you know? So. Okay. Yeah. So now we can remove this. Fill out that because now we want to rinse that good, but again, you don't want to put soap and water. Okay, this is more butter. So, if you use this type of container, uh, you might want to use maybe less butter. I started with three blocks, so that's three pounds, three pounds of butter. before I get confused. This is Asian butter with today's day. Hot water, but you don't want to keep this hot. Okay, so what's next? Next, we have our we have our Mexican butter. Yeah, this is the Mexican one. Mexican water, we're going to add alcohol seasoning, like one, two, three tablespoons. Yeah, now we'll whip it, whip it good. Just make sure it's flat so we can close the container. paper.
Keep it here. For the neighbor. Okay. Next. Some people don't like cilantro because they say that it tastes like salt, which is actually true. I don't remember the reason why, but some people actually taste the cilantro tastes like salt. I feel bad for them, sorry. The rest we're gonna put in here, because again, I think I'm running low on containers. Um, and I will just use this tomorrow. I'm craving tacos, and now with this batter. For our food truck, we used to add more. Because before I did the spices, I used to make my own like that. So I used to use a lot of cumin and oregano. And when you want to cook, it's not just. It's not just adding the flavors and the butter. No, you also want to add the, you know, other things. This is like the base. This is a base to for you to cook. Instead of using plain butter, let's say you don't. Let's say you want to make tacos. And uh, oh, hot, hot, hot. let's say you want to make tacos, and you have cilantro. Well, you already have the chicken, marinate it, cook it, and then pan, butter. And yeah, you won't actually see the, the physical cilantro, the actual cilantro, but the flavors are there. All right, and again, we'll put a piece of paper. Here. Mexican, Mexican butter. What's next? Italian. This has basil, rosemary, parsley. And I put a lemon juice, a whole lemon, I mean. And uh, what else did you put in there? Oh, if you have like thyme leaves, thyme gives it a lot of flavor too. But guess what? Thyme is here. So, one.
So when you're cooking, like let's say an Italian dish, you can grab the chicken, the steak, whatever you're making. You can put some of this butter, saute, just eat it like that. Or you can make some noodles, some pasta noodles. Um, put some butter, throw this, you don't have that. Parmesan cheese, I'm just looking for the scissors. Mm -hmm. In the restaurant, when I work in the restaurants, I have people behind me cleaning. I was a second chef. And now here, I have to do the dishes. I have to cook, I have to clean. But it's okay. my background what is Italians because I love Italian food so much man it's Naples I like everything Asian food uh, Mexican food anything and I think if I have to eat something for the rest of my life I will pick Italian food and if I have to pick a dish only one dish I think I will have Alfredo Pedrucini Alfredo I can eat that 24-7 Okay, and now we have a good amount of leftover. Yeah, I'm gonna actually do that. Ah, man, I don't have any more content. Oh, oh, oh. The last one. I don't want to put it in a Ziploc bag because I'm gonna use this a lot. That's why I, I picked the bigger, the bigger size, the bigger uh, pile of butter. <laughs> make the uh, Italian. Okay, so we put the paper. This one I don't have paper, but guess what? We don't need that. Alright, we have Italians, we have a Mexican, we have Asian butter, and we also end up with ginger to make dishes later down the road so remember ginger you freeze it flat you don't want to just throw it in your freezer like that you want to put it flat so when it freezes then you have it like that and this you will open and it won't it won't stick to the uh, to this butter you want to stick to the plastic it's, it's beautiful and then you just break a piece and cook whatever you want um, I can suggest this for to make um, Asian sauces like the base, like the teriyaki sauce, um, sweet and sour, sweet Thai, all those. The butter, some stir fry with some noodles. Mm. Are Italian, not Mexican. So that's it. I mean, it seems complicated, a little messy. I usually like to cook with music on, but I guess Google, uh, YouTube doesn't let you play music when you upload your videos, you know, because I don't have the copyrights for the Rolling Stones and the Beatles. Come on. So, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this show today. Um, this is something that I like to do. You don't have to do this. If you want to try, start with maybe a pound of butter because this fits three pounds, but it gets bigger. 
and it gets complicated. I have experience. I've been doing it for years. So start with one pound, whip it, and then maybe maybe make one. Hey, maybe try the honey butter. You just add honey. Uh, maybe, I don't know, like half of this. It sounds like a lot, but not really, because it goes in there with the flour, with the butter. Uh, you can make, when you make pancakes, you know, uh, toast, whatever. Um, we like, I like honey, but we don't use honey that much. So that's why I kind of like, let's not use the honey for that. So, so yeah, my suggestion is start with one pound, pick your favorite flavors. If you're into Asian food, Italian food, Mexican food, get your uh, fresh herbs, get your seasoning, you can buy online or make your own, um, blend it and try it. When you cook, just make something and uh, again, text me, email me, contact me, and I'm always here for you to tell you what to do, what not to do. Um, follow us, follow me, share, subscribe, and I love you so much, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.